because Vanya gets told the entire time that she is not special, uh -huh. I want to finish by you guys saying one thing that is special about the other. Oh, okay. I like this game. We call it the compliment game. Yeah. Just, just lay it on. Do you know, <laughs> David regularly, like, he, he'll find, like, a little notepad or post-it notes or something, a pen, and he'll just start scrawling. It might be some couplets of a, uh, of a poem or it might be some thoughts that's going to develop into a story later on. He'll just, he's like, he's like, so he's like, I heard a story about Shane McGowan and the yeah. Pogues, where he's just constantly drawing, like, tissue, napkins, post-its, the back of people's necks, you know. <laughs> and uh, David has that. It's really beautiful. He sort of graffitis things. With he's got name. an incredibly soft, gooey, lovable, adorable center, this this Luther. Am I, talk, am I supposed to be talking about Tom? Did you know about Tom? Oh! oh well, me. As well probably, as. Probably me as well. Yeah. <laughs> Very gooey. Mary is like a big kid, and she reminds me every time I'm with her to be like a big kid. Steve is a, a leader I really admire in terms of how he treats everybody, how much he respects everybody, and how he really wants to encourage you and inspire you to have ideas to bring to the table. Cameron is a big kid who reminds me to be a big kid because when I'm pouting on, on, <laughs> on set, he starts skipping going, skip, Mary, skip. It helps you feel better. And I look and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna skip before I just lose yeah. it. <laughs> Do you ever like write little notes to the other cast members? Uh, just draws his pictures. No, no yeah. Oh, no. Graphic, graphic pictures. Just kind of keep them to myself sometimes. He's an incredible friend. He, he, we instantly got on so well, and you know, our play, our characters playing opposite each other. We, you know, I w could only hope for an amazing, like, you know, coworker. Coworker feels weird. Co star. Co. Yeah. co Let's keep it clean. Co member. <laughs> Colleague. Colleague. <laughs> Ellen is um, an incredible actor. Um, at, a, at a level, a, ma a master class level of acting. Uh, but I also think she is also an incredible leader in, in the fight she has in the LGBT, T, LGBTQ community. And I'm always humbled and amazed watching her take on the world. And uh, uh, I just think she's fabulous and brave. I think that she's an incredible listener. She's a great, um, she's a great advisor of many things. You know, she. She looks in from the outside um, and she's able to take a step back from a situation. So if you go into her with a problem, she's very good at being able to take herself out of that and look at it from an outsider's perspective and give you a very good Am piece I? of advice. You are, yeah. Wow. He's oh, been analyzing you oh, no, he the puts entire up with all my <laughs> <laughs> That's true, that's really it. He just puts up with my Robert is probably the most, uh, uh, the best, Storyteller, I've I've came across. He can tell. Oh, that's not too bad. He can. Oh, it's not gonna be that bad. I'm not gonna, Quite happy I'm not gonna that. burn you. I mean, he can. So he's gonna attack me. No, no. He says that he's he can sit you down and tell you the most fascinating stories, and he has a, a an amazing memory. You remember names and I moments wish that were true. and dates. Yeah. You know, and he can paint a picture. Remembered me from earlier. Well, you know, yeah. I mean, that was ages ago. <laughs> And you know, but after me, you, and your dad get really baked, you're gonna destroy all my brain cells. But it, you know, it's the apocalypse anyway, so who cares, man? Exactly. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. I'm stuck in the school. Oh, no. <laughs> no! <laughs>